What I shouldn't have said. Dear Billy Burberry ba- handbag, uh, I am the type of person who rarely says what's on their mind, nor do I, do, nor do I stand up to pro- passive-aggressive jerks. But one time, 20 years ago, I lashed out and said what was on my mind. I was a senior in high school. I was in my senior year of high school, and I just had finished a painting of my girlfriend, Jenna. I was quite proud of it and was excited to share it. In my next class, my friends asked to see it. I happily passed the painting over to my peers where people gathered around to look at it. Oh, God. Yep, you were too young to know where this was going to go. I took in various feedback from feigning interest to genuine compliments. Oh, I thought it was going to get meaner than that. There was a girl in my school who was a deeply unkind person who behaved as if she was God's gift to men. Um, When she saw the painting, she quipped, that doesn't even look like Jenna. In her rude, holier-than-thou way, she was known for. 99 out of 100 times a comment like that would be internalized and replayed on an endless, self-deprecating cycle. Oh, God, dude. I know it. I got a reel-to-reel machine with endless tape in my fucking head. Uh, Anyway, the person says, For some reason this time, I saw red, and without hesitation, I angrily blurted out, No one asked you, you fucking bitch. (laughs) Oh, my God, I love that. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> she, he goes, the whole class went silent. Her face turned beet red. And I was handed back my painting as I heard someone say, Jesus Christ, Joey. <laughs> I cannot say it was my proudest moment. What are you fucking talking about, dude? If I was the guy that judged you, the fucking God at the end of my life, you're walking into my waiting room to see if you get in heaven and I'm doing the De Niro. Come here, you. Come here, you. Right? He said, I cannot say it was my proudest moment and goes against my desire to be kind to people. Hey, no, 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 no. People have to earn. If you're a good person, you have to, people have to earn that. You just don't give it to them. Uh, anyway, but it has also become a guilty pleasure memory I like to dig up whenever I'm feeling like a handbag. Dude, fuck that, man. Dude, you, you painted a picture of this woman you were in love with. And she goes, that doesn't even look like Jenna. Okay. No one asked you, you fucking bitch. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's all aces. I, that's nothing guilty about that. I mean, that's that's a fucking triumph. I mean, I, the, I personally, I would watch that clip right in between some NFL films about Super Bowl victories, and, and that at no point would I be like, why was that in there? I would totally see a through line. Kudos to you. Uh, anyway, P.S., I love your comedy and think F is for Family is a masterpiece. And will be forever, and will forever be one of my favorite cartoons. Thank you for being you. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Well, you can thank the great Mike Price, Mark Wilmore, rest his soul, David Richardson, rest his soul, um, Emily Towers, everybody who's written on that thing is the reason why it's that great.